Torched cars, buildings reduced to rubble, and thick, unrelenting smoke. The Dixie Fire burning in Butte and Plumas counties is leaving these haunting images as it rips through town after town. Flames decimated the Gold Rush era town of Greenville and ravaged the community of Canyon Dam earlier this week. And an eerie scene in neighboring areas like Chester, which resembles a ghost town frozen in time. Most residents not taking any chances, packing up and leaving before any flames roar through. The Cal Fire says the next 24 hours will be a critical time for the Dixie Fire, the third largest in California's history. As KPX 5's Devin Feely explains, firefighters say they're getting a little help from Mother Nature and hope that cooler temperatures will help them regain control of the huge blaze. The numbers tell the story. Overnight, the Dixie Fire grew bigger, nearly 450,000 acres and growing, while firefighters' tenuous control of the blaze got even smaller, downgraded from 35 to 21 percent containment. The only good news, the weather at last may be giving firefighters an advantage. We have a blanket of smoke covering the fire, which uh, uh, covers the fire from the sun and the heat. So it causes for cooler temperatures, it causes for the humidity levels to increase or recover a little bit better than we have been seeing over the last couple of days. Dramatically different weather conditions and earlier in the week when gusting winds and embers pass containment lines, driving the fire into the historic town of Greenville. We're seeing wind gusts up to 40, you know, 50 miles an hour, um, and that didn't help out, especially when we had extreme. Uh, dry conditions in our vegetation. Cal Fire says they got yet another unwelcome reminder of just how dangerous this fire can be overnight. Four firefighters were injured by a falling tree branch, one of them seriously enough to be hospitalized. It was just a tree branch that just happened to fall on firefighters that was dislodged by wind for whatever reason. Uh, hitting four, 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 four firefighters. All four firefighters are expected to recover. A silver lining for a fire that's proven extremely destructive and equally difficult to control, one they expect to be battling for weeks to come. Devin Feely, KPIX 5. Well, the target date to have the fire contained is August 20th. That is, of course, dependent on a number of factors, not least of which is the weather. And more information coming into the newsroom about the Dixie Fire. A federal judge has ordered PG&E to explain the company's role in possibly starting the blaze. According to the Washington Post, the order is issued late last night asks for information on the tree, which apparently fell on a power line at the origin of the blaze. The cause of the Dixie Fire is still under investigation. The judge says the utility has until August 16th to respond. And for more information on how you can help victims of the Dixie Fire, look for our link on our website, kpix.com. On the fire watch, evacuation orders have now been lifted for a lot of communities caught up in the river fire. Right now, Colfax residents in Placer County eagerly awaited their chance to head home. One zone just northwest of Colfax still under mandatory evacuation orders with firefighters working to restore power and water. One man who's lived there for nearly 50 years lost his home to the blaze, but he says he is eager for all evacuations to lift because he's going to get to work rebuilding. I'm not going anywhere. We're, we're going to stay there. Absolutely. We, have, we plan on rebuilding. We're a little disappointed right now, but uh, we'll bounce back. River fire currently stands at 48% contained. Down trees and debris means hundreds of people remain evacuated. About 90 buildings have been destroyed and about 3,400 are still threatened.